Packing is more than tent sleeping bags and packs, all of which tend to be expensive. And then there's the little things that don't cost very much but can make a big difference and nobody seems to want to talk about those. Until now, because we're talking about nine items under $30 that make a big difference. So let's check it out. Every backpacker I know carries smart water bottles. They're cheap, nearly indestructible, work well with squeeze filters and more. In fact, there's really only one thing that would make them better if they had simple measurements listed on the side like a measuring cup, which you can easily have simply by applying the sticker. Created by Bottle Genius, it is specifically designed to give you accurate measurements on a standard one liter smart water bottle. One of my favorite treats while out on the trail is Hawaiian Punch. I don't know what's in these things, but my body craves it out on the trail, and it gives me a break from day after day of straight water. But they're intended to be mixed in a 500 milliliter water bottle, not a one liter smart bottle. So I'm always just guessing how much water to mix it with. But with this, I know exactly how much water I need for Hawaiian Punch, cooking, and more. Speaking of smart bottles, I know you've heard me talk about my adapter tube that turns my smart bottles into a hydration reservoir. The only problem I have with this is my tube is always flapping around as I hike and sometimes getting lost behind my back. But I recently discovered this simple little magnetic clip from One Bottle Hydration. It's a simple little solution to help keep your drink tube exactly where you need it. They also sell bottle adapters, but I don't like theirs as much as the one that I've been using for the last couple of years. But I do love these little magnetic clips that makes any pack a reservoir friendly pack. One of the worst chores at camp is airing up your sleeping pad. Use your mouth and you could introduce moisture into the pad that can cause mold and even reduce the pad's R value. Most pads these days come with inflation bags that won't leave you breathless, but do take a little bit of time to air up your pad. And for about the same weight as an inflation bag, you can get this awesome little pump from Flextail Gear. It's just three ounces and has enough power to air up your mattress several nights in a row. It's also got a little light that honestly I've never used, but now that I've started using this pump, I can't imagine going back to an inflation bag, much less this. No matter who you are, you need some way to navigate out on trail, and one of the easiest ways is using a GPS app on your phone. I recently started using Natural Atlas even before they became a sponsor of this channel, mainly because I like their trail measurement tool that automatically snaps any measurements to the nearest trail, giving you Google Map-like features. I use it all the time, while I'm hiking, while I'm planning routes, even when I'm driving in remote areas. But what's really cool is some of the new features they're coming out with, like Smoke Overlay that lets you see how fire might be impacting your hike and 48 hour weather predictions that will show you what temperatures you can expect in the exact area of your hike as well as rain forecasts. Technically to get all the features you'll pay $40 for the year but I managed to convince them to give you 25% off that'll bring the price down to just $30 if you buy through the links in the description. When you're out on trail, do you ever wonder how cold did it get last night? You can carry a thermometer, but most will only tell you what the temperature is right now. So unless you want to get up multiple times in the night to check the temperature, you need a thermometer that records temperatures like the thermo drop. I started carrying a thermometer when I started testing sleep systems. I first used Bluetooth thermometer that would record graphs of temperatures throughout the whole night, but quickly realized I was really only interested in two temperatures, the high and the low. Thermo drop is much simpler than a Bluetooth thermometer. It records the high and the low while constantly displaying the current temperature. It's really all I need in the thermometer. Trekking poles are great until you need your hands free. As soon as you need to scramble through some rocks, help someone else with their pack, or any number of tasks, the question becomes, what do you do with your poles? Stick Stashers provides an interesting solution that allows you to quickly stow your poles using two strong magnets. You attach one set of magnets to your poles and the other set to the compression straps on the side of your pack. Then when you need your hands free, you simply reach behind and clip the magnets together. At first, I found it a little bit difficult to locate the magnets on my pack and found that it was easier if you reach across stashing your left pole to your right side. Then after you stash them four to five times, you start to get the hang of it. Now, obviously this is intended for long-term storage, but does provide a great solution for quick stashing when you need your hands free. Now, one of the things I'm not going to recommend today is the tick mitt. It's a fuzzy little mitt that you supposedly rub over your body to wipe the ticks off. I recently got into a tick infested area and came home with multiple ticks, none of which came off with the tick mitt. The next day, I knew I was going back to the exact same area and instead used some Sawyer Picaridin lotion. Picaridin? Picardin? I don't know how to say it, and was surprised to find that not a single tick was anywhere on my body. It also works to repel mosquitoes, making it a must-have on summer hikes. 
Now, you may have heard me talk about this fuel transfer valve in another video. This is a great solution if you have multiple half empty cans that you want to combine into one full can. But what do you do with all those empty cans once you've transferred them all into other cans? Well, if you want to recycle them or even just throw them away, most states require you to puncture the can to prove that it's empty and prevent the risk of explosion. But to puncture them, you need something like this crunch it tool from Jetboil. First, make sure the can is completely empty, then screw the tool onto the nozzle and push Push the sharp point into the can. Now it's safe to recycle or dispose of however you see fit. Speaking of recycling, what do you do when you have older gear that gets a hole in it? Well, if you're anything like me with no sewing skills whatsoever, you can get yourself some no-sew patches to make your gear last just a little bit longer. Just stick the patch to your gear and then apply a little heat and you are good to go. In fact, I applied this patch to this jacket right before I treated it with Nick Wax Downproof in my washing machine and then I stuck it in a freezing cold river. The patch took the wash treatment and the freeze testing with no problems. No so patches come in all shapes and sizes and colors. I keep some at home just in case I end up with a piece of gear in need of repair. So that's nine pieces of gear. If you want to see nine more, check out this video right here. Thank you Natural Atlas for sponsoring this video. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching. Not a single tick was anywhere on my body, but a mosquito is biting me right now.